any of the detail and the surface potential and the charge density. Uh, there are certain way we can measure capacitance. And uh, if the surface charge density can be approximated by dielectric constant divided by the valence times the potential. This is the surface charge, roughly surface charge density. And uh, of course, we have the similar parameter that we defined. Vacuum permittivity, relative um, dielectric constant, and the balance, which is another way to say it's rough measure of your double layer thickness, rough measure. Of course, because it diffuses into it, it's just a so-called characteristic lens, right? Because it's going to extend into the solution, but this is the distance that gives you an idea roughly how thick it is. Okay, and we have a way to control it by changing the electrolyte concentration by changing different types of electrolyte. Okay, and uh, based on physics, we have the capacitance for parallel surface capacitance is just uh, the direct constant divided by the thickness okay and if this is the case for certain thickness or distance between the two parallel surfaces and then we would have this one the surface charge density would be we still write it down like this and then we replace the one over kappa, the, the balance, this whole thing as the balance with the thickness. As a result, kind of like the charge density would be just the capacitance times the potential. Capacitance times potential. Okay. Uh, which means this electrical double layer can be, in a way, just review it approximated by parallel capacitor with effective thickness of this value, the balance, and the relative dielectric constant of um, epsilon r, which is your medium you're having for water or for something. Okay. 